12 people displaced after a fire broke out at a Northside apartment complex early this morning. Good morning, I'm Sarah Costa, and just a bit what the fire department is saying, how they believe this fire started. Other top stories this morning, San Antonio police looking for two men who robbed a local convenience store. We have details on what they stole and how they got away. And taking you outside on your Friday. It is cold this morning. Grab your coat, but hey, sunshine's in the forecast. Live from Case at 12. Good morning, San Antonio starts right now. Hey there, good morning. Hope you slept well. It is Friday, February 21st. Yeah, I made it to Friday. So glad to have you with us this morning. Don't need your umbrella today, but you do need the coat. You do. We are in the 30s out there. We've dropped about a degree in the last hour or so. Mike joins us now. Look ahead to our Friday and beyond. Nice second weather. And good. It was great. A lot of people love the, the cold, damn, chilly weather, but... OK, now we see some sunshine today, so it's going to be a good looking day, but you will definitely need a coat all day long, starting with this morning. As I mentioned, uh, it is now freezing up there toward Bernie Sage Lost Maples at 31, 38. The airport, so we've dropped down, like Mark said, another degree in the past hour and we're slowly creeping downward. But the problem is, too, we do have a breeze out there, so we've got wind chills. Feels like 25 in Kerrville, uh, freezing from Bernie over toward Canyon Lake. 30 is the wind chill in Braunfels. Same thing out there at the airport. Most and everything else are on the low side. That should continue to go down given the fact we've got some fairly dry air out there. And of course, the uh, oak season is just kind of getting going, but not, not peaking as of yet. Just when we finish up with mountain cedar, now the oak comes in here. Anyway, uh, temperatures will uh, again drop down maybe another couple of degrees throughout the rest of the morning. Should have a decent sunrise and uh, plenty of sunshine with a few clouds mixed in throughout the day. We are going to make it up to right around 50 degrees today at noon and then top off only at 55 today. So we'll be about 10 degrees below normal, but we will have more sunshine. So it's going to feel a lot nicer if you are heading out this evening, of course, Cool is going to get cold very quickly, so take a coat. And then tomorrow looks like a pretty good day. More clouds on Sunday and some warmer temperatures. Details on the weekend coming up. Time saver traffic right now at Officer Nick Solis. And, well, no rain, so hopefully nothing going on. Anything? I'm looking a lot better than yesterday, yeah. right, Mike? Things are looking great out there. Looks like we had one accident uh, on, on the south side of town, 35 in New Laredo Highway. That one's just cleared up, so that's great. But if you are on the work this, to, this morning, well, on the way to work, this morning expect a smooth ride things are looking great out there let's look at some drive times all right if you're coming from the city of new braunfels to 1604 it's 16 minutes and if you're on southbound 35 from loop 1604 to downtown 12 minutes so things are looking great all around the city all right trans guy 410 and mccullough on the northeast side looking good traffic still looks light 1604 and petrenko on the far west side looking good 35 and north loopport 10 Still the same. Things are looking great. Roadways aren't slick. I think you're going to have a great ride to work. All right, Mark Leslie, back to you. Nick, thank you. 603, 12 people now without a home after a fire broke out at a north side apartment complex very early this morning. It happened at the Parliament Bend Complex in the 11,800 block of Parliament, which is right off of Blanco Road. Sarah Costa is live on scene with the latest. Sarah? Good morning, and that scene is clear now, but that was not the case about an hour ago. At one point, there are 100 firefighters here on scene. I want to show you that video from earlier this morning. There were so many firefighters out here because it was called a two alarm fire at one point, then canceled because firefighters were able to knock it out quickly. No one was injured and everyone from the building was evacuated safely. The San Antonio Fire Department says they got the call at three this morning. The fire started on the second balcony of one building, building 10 here on the complex's campus, and they were in that fire quickly spread to the attic of that building. Eight units were damaged temporarily, displacing about six people, six other people permanently displaced in four units that are permanently damaged. Firefighters say they believe that this fire was an accidental fire and they don't believe arson is even going to come out to this fire because it, they said it was an accidental fire that started on the second balcony, possibly by a cigarette butt. Live from the north side, I'm Sarah Acosta, KSAT 12 News. Mark and Leslie. Thank you, Sarah. New this morning, San Antonio police are looking for two people who robbed a far west side convenience store. They say it happened at a Circle K in the 9600 block of Culebra around 1.40 this morning. A police sergeant says two men walked into the store. One pulled out a handgun. The two took beer and drove off in a pickup truck. 
This morning, Bear County Medical Examiner has identified the woman who died in the Kirby Jail yesterday. Investigators say 36-year-old Amanda Watkins appeared to strangle herself in a holding cell. The officer found her unresponsive yesterday just before noon. The Texas Rangers and Kirby's Internal Affairs Unit are still investigating the cause of death. Today, friends and family of Sergeant Javier Gutierrez will hold funeral services for the fallen hero. There is a public viewing scheduled today as well at from noon to one at Community Bible Church on the north side. Gutierrez died while serving in Afghanistan earlier this month. He will be buried with full military honors tomorrow morning at Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery. An infectious disease expert criticizing the Japanese government for their handling of the coronavirus. The expert says containment efforts on the Diamond Princess cruise ship were quote unquote inadequate after she visited the ship. Comes as passengers aboard the cruise ship continue to disembark today. So far, 2,200 people have died from coronavirus, mostly in China. There are now more than 76,000 cases worldwide. Players on the U.S. women's national soccer team are seeking $66 million in damages in a gender discrimination lawsuit. The players filed the lawsuit against the U.S. Soccer Federation, which is the governing body for the professional sport in America. They claim there is unequal pay and treatment compared to members of the men's national team. Some of the documents released show separate collective bargaining agreements of the men's and women's teams, leading to pay disparity. The Environmental Protection Agency proposing national drinking water standards as it takes steps to regulate so-called forever chemicals in drinking water. PFAS are man-made heat and water resistant chemicals used to make everything items like nonstick pans, food containers and fabric protectants. The chemicals do not break down easily in the environment as studies have linked them to kidney and liver cancer. The EPA says it's trying to regulate two types of chemicals and is studying six others.